Hello, 10th graders. Again, this is Ms. Dana Tawi. We're going to continue today, <clears throat> 6th of April, 2020. Today is uh, Monday. We're going to continue with the reading comprehension that we have taken yesterday uh, that is entitled, uh, What's Cooking? And the title of the text was uh, Sugar, our, uh, our Sweetest Enemy. Now we stopped right here. We're going to continue the rest of the lesson today. It says here, health experts are worried that obesity and the uh, concurrent risks of uh, diabetes are reaching crisis levels with two thirds of adults in Britain overweight or obese and British females under 20, the most overweight in Europe. Okay, stop right here. So the health experts and experts here, it's an agent now, are worried. So they they have worries about certain issues that obesity, and we said that obesity, it means uh, being overweight and the concurrent. Concurrent here, it means existing or happening, done at the same time. <coughs> Risks, dangers of diabetes. Diabetes, it's a kind of a disease, a chronic disease, um, are reaching crisis levels. Okay, crisis, yani. Uh, it means uh, a big problem uh, with two thirds of adults in Britain over uh, weight or obese and British females actually under 20 the most overweight in Europe okay that. let's continue it says here apart from <clears throat> setting limits on sugar intake public health officials uh, are targeting fizzy drinks Fizzy drinks, now we said that the kind of drinks that you um, uh, contain bubbles of gas. Fizzy drinks <clears throat> uh, are as one of the main uh, culprits, and culprits it means a person who is responsible for a crime, any criminal. So apart from setting limits on sugar intake, public health officials are targeting fizzy drinks as one of the main culprits. And it's a kind of uh, criminal. They, they, they think that the fizzy drinks, because it contains a lot of sugar, so it actually it's a kind of uh, a person who makes a crime uh, on the uh, adults. Experts have demanded that sugary drinks should be taxed, okay, to make it more expensive. Sugar. They demanded, they asked for that sugary drinks. Any drink that contains a lot of sugar should be taxed. The uh, celebrity uh, chef Jam uh, Jamie Oliver, I know, I'm sure that you know him, who uh, Kitchen's Hell or Hell's Kitchen, something like that, uh, has <clears throat> endorsed, and endorse it means declare, wants public approval <clears throat> or support. So he was with the idea that uh, the battle against sugar in his own campaign and Channel 4 documentary, lending his voice to a powering number uh, who are concerned about the harmful effects of our uh, dietary choices. So basically, one of the most important, uh, uh, yani, uh, let's say, character that is known in Britain, it was uh, the name of the chef, uh, he's called Jamie. He was, uh, uh, has endorsed, and endorsed, we said again, it means that to declare one's public approval or support the battle. So it was a kind of battle against sugar in his own campaign and, and channel uh, for documentary, lending his voice to a power number, uh, powering number who are concerned about the harmful effects of uh, dietary, and dietary, it means related or provided by diet choices. He has taken action by imposing, and imposing it means in the force, uh, a levy, not uh, a levy on soft drinks sold in his restaurants. A levy in the it means tax. So he, he enforced that you should pay a tax over the uh, on the, the soft drinks that is sold in his restaurant. So he was against the uh, sugar drink. He was against this um, um, uh, fizzy drinks. That's why he tried to uh, impose any yeah, force. Uh, uh, taxes on the soft drinks that was sold in his uh, restaurant. Okay. Moving to the <clears throat> to the next uh, paragraph. Scientists and scientists and agent noun have argued that a, a craving for sugar is hardwired into our brain and may have helped us survive when food was scarce. So basically, uh, sometimes you wake up and you just want sugar. This is a kind of craving for sugar. So he says it's a hard wired into our brain, which means that there's a great need for that and may have helped us survive when food was scarce. And scarce here, it means um, in, in um, 
you don't have it in large quantities يعني فيها شح بالموضوع بالقلة okay now <coughs> it is one of the uh, cheapest food ingredients available though the giants of the food industry fail to mention it in their advertising health expert urge and urge means I recommend something strongly urge it means uh, to uh, 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 recommend something uh, strongly consumers health experts urge consumers <clears throat> to read the labels on food so if you want if you're a person who likes a lot to um, you know, you're into sugar uh, these health experts they urge you and they advise you or recommend you in a very strong way <clears throat> to read the labels on food especially on those products that purport and and purport it means appear to be or do something falsely okay purport here it means to appear to be or do something falsely <clears throat> to be healthy but when you read the label you should know that not all of it are, uh, is actually uh, correct um, for example labels reveal that some leading brands of breakfast cereal contain up to 37% sugar you may as well eat chocolate biscuits for breakfast so, let's move to the um, the last uh, text here uh, paragraph it is obviously up to the consumer so it's up to us if we want to eat sugar to make the right choices but governments can and should help by ensuring that food is labeled more clearly so if they, if they put the right numbers on it then things will be uh, perfect <clears throat> An indication of sugar content by a number of teaspoons is proposed by Oliver. So Oliver, who was the chef, who, is <clears throat> who has uh, declared his uh, uh, battle against the sugar, he says that if you want to put the label uh, on the ingredients of the, uh, the thing that you want to buy, you should put it or propose it by, uh, uh, by uh, labeling it with teaspoons. And he uh, also backs campaigns to ban advertising, and ban it means to for, يعني, forbidden of sugary snacks and drinks to children. So if you want to stop advertising sugary snacks and drinks for children, he admits that his levy, and we said that levy he tax on soft drinks is just a small step, but believes it will persuade consumers to think about the long-term consequences of bad eating habits. So basically here, uh, we have done here, what we are trying to say is that uh, sugar, although we love sugar, it's our sweetest enemy. Uh, you have to know exactly what your uh, daily in uh, intake when it comes to uh, the uh, sugar. We have here talking about British uh, female that they are overweight, and then we move to talk about uh, the government how it's, it's supposed to uh, uh, put certain of um, uh, restrictions on uh, advertising the snacks and um, the f visit drinks for the children. And we have a very important character here who uh, um, uh, the chef, the famous chef who. Uh, Jamie Oliver, he tried to impose and force the kind of tax on these fizzy drinks that is, or the soft drinks that is uh, um, uh, bought in his uh, or served in his restaurant. Now, let's have a look at uh, question number three here. It says here, read the article again and choose the best answer A, B, C. According to the first paragraph, the dangers of eating too much sugar, of course, have been suspected for decades and a long long time ago in the second paragraph what does the writer say about uh, sugar we said that here at uh, honey and fruit juices contain free sugars then moving to number three why are fizzy drinks a particular problem uh, the answer would be a according to the text which group consumers uh, fear more sugar than uh, um, recommended here british teenagers of course then we move to number uh, four, five, sorry, what action has been taken in the uh, UK to restrict sugar intake? Hakena Honalihi, a campaign led by a popular public figure, who was Jamie Oliver. And then what reason is given for consumers' uh, appetite of, uh, for sugar? It uh, uh, originates from a biological need. I know it's um, our brain. You wake up and you want sugar. The last thing that I'd like to mention for the, today's class is exercise number four. Complete the words in the sentence with adjectives from the text. The first letter is given to help you. Now, number one, in poor areas, people are reliant on, the adjective here, reliant, on, يعني, depend on food banks uh, to feed their families. Number two, a balanced diet should cover all your 
كورس النيوتريشنال نيدز اللي هي الاحتياجات الغذائيه نمبر 3 بروسيسد ميت انكلودز ساسج بيكن اند هام اوكي اللي هي اللحوم المطبوخه واللي بيشتغلوا عليها طيب the size of portions has grown at an alarming rate يعني عم تعطيك kind of signal no stop The waiter asked if uh, the waiter asked uh, if we want it still, uh, if you want it still, or fizzy water. Uh, current guidelines advise us to limit salt intake to six grams daily. Children often prefer sugary snacks, of course, to uh, savory ones. Fruit and vegetables are good sources of uh, dietary. Fiber. And that would be all, uh, uh, the, the end of our class for today. Um, I hope that you have uh, understood all of the things that we have mentioned. If you have any question, please don't hesitate. Just uh, send me and uh, uh, ask me your question. Uh, as you can see, you are now familiar with the thing that is uh, sugar, our sweetest enemy. We have a kind of background when it comes to talking about uh, the position or the situation that is in the UK. Uh, we have talked about a popular, a very famous popular uh, figure, actually a public figure, who Jamie Oliver, he was a chef, and he was against uh, this uh, kind of uh, advertising the uh, snacks um, and uh, fizzy drinks for children uh, by imposing, uh, forcing a kind of levy, uh, tax. Uh, try to highlight all of the uh, words that we have mentioned because you need to understand them. And inshallah. For tomorrow, we're going to begin with the uh, vocabs. Hanafad exercise, exercise, so that I explain certain things for you. Uh, have a wonderful day full of love, happiness, and joy. And uh, uh, God bless you.